Hey, uh, we're back in um, Glasgow. Stayed Stanimal last night, didn't see Charlie again. Um, it was a full house. We'll be uh, heading back to Saltwell Gap this morning. Start our next section. Um, supposed to get some rain and thunderstorms later today, so and uh, rain tomorrow. So we're going to get a little wet this weekend. First view of the day. It's starting to rain a little bit. Coming up on Cool Mountain Bald. Clouds are heavy, so not much visibility. Fairly steady rain right now. We're at the top of uh, Cool Mountain Bald. And coming up the top of the mountain, here it comes Rock Hopper. <laughs> He's being elusive, hiding behind trees, but that big yellow cover. <laughs> yeah, I stopped down actually underneath that tree at the top of the last peak. I did it before this clearing here. I thought, yeah, that's heavy enough. And then, of course, it hit the clearing and it stopped raining. Of course. Well, look what uh, peeked out to see us here. Mr. Sun, thankful to see you. Heading down the mountain. Um, got about 3.6 to the shelter. Uh, I'm probably gonna stop here in about a, a mile, eat lunch. It's uh, 11.30 right now on Friday. Seeing a lot of hikers today, a lot of northbounders. Met some good people last night in the shelter. Hopefully there's uh, there's two spots for us in the shelter for tonight. Supposedly thunderstorms are supposed to roll in. So tomorrow uh, looks like rain, uh, hopefully not too crazy. So far today, it's been uh, beautiful, nice and cool. We had a little, little shower there. Other than that, a beautiful day. All right, just stopped for lunch. There's a picking table there in US 60. Uh, now we're heading down to Brown Mountain Creek Shelter. This part of the trail just follows the creek. It's pretty nice. Whoa. Um, I met Clean Plate there at US 60. She was uh, calling in a shuttle. Cell service was good there, but uh, it's pretty much non-existent right now. Yeah, there's some notes in uh, Gut Hook of about a month ago or so about all the blowdowns. Um, there's definitely some fresh cuts, cuts here, so uh, thank you, trail maintainers. That would have been uh, quite an obstacle going through. I saw at least three or four back uh, within the last probably quarter mile as well. There was a big storm, I think, uh, went through here a while back. All right, approaching Brown Mountain Creek Shelter.
like uh, we're the first ones here. So it's a great sign as I am sure people will be rolling in here as the day goes on. Uh, we wanted to get here early due to the uh, incoming rain. So get unpacked here and rock hopper should be uh, close behind. This little guy's hanging out in the fire pit. Yeah, it's nice right off trail here. And I didn't want to miss it if it was down a blue blade, so I was starting to put my head up to look around for it. Yeah, I thought, I was thinking, I, was, I think I passed maybe six hikers roughly or so, and you know, we're getting close to the shelter. I'm thinking that if they were going to stay, they would have stayed. So it's probably a good sign that my knees broke. <laughs> I was wondering about you, brother. <laughs> oh, they, they've hurt. That's, that's the worst they've ever hurt. I was getting ready to go back and start looking for you because I don't have any cell service here. Well, I, you did get my message when you got to 60, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at all these butterflies. They're all together. That's crazy. Yeah. Hey, Saturday morning. Um, I'm not raining. Not raining, which is a good thing. Hopefully today, uh, somewhat dry, but there, there's a forecast of rain the last time we checked. Last night, it was nice sleeping with the uh, sounds of the creek and uh, certainly a lot of rain last night, but not as much as we expected. No thunderstorms that I heard. Did you hear any thunderstorms last night? Oh, Rock we, before we went to sleep, there yeah. was some rolling through, but very light. So on board 9.7 today. And there's some big blowdowns that we're taking care of here. There's a uh, property corner marked off here. I'm going to throw on this uh, suspension bridge right before Reservoir Road. Well, you can turn around on this one, Rock Offer. <laughs> hey. Yeah, it's a pretty neat bridge. Rockin'. Sunday morning, coming out of Punch Bowl Shelter. <sighs> Thankful we got to the shelter last night before it rained, and it rained all night, all night long. So thankful to wake up this morning and the rain has subsided. There is a chance for some rain today. What do you think, Rock Hopper? Oh, I'll let you know later. <laughs> You're such a good weather forecaster. So uh, got to climb out of here today and then uh, up and down, and then down into the James River footbridge. So we're looking forward to seeing that today. And then uh, 
across the bridge and up a little bit to the shelter tonight for, uh, I believe it's 12.4. Well, this is the view from Bluff Mountain, <laughs> non-existent. Yeah, it's very, very foggy. A little bit of a mist and a lot of water coming off the trees on the way up here this morning. Ouch. Say cheese, say ouch. <laughs> yes. All right, Rock Hopper, tell us how you're feeling. Not too good. My knees are almost feel like they're blowing out on me. Never yeah, sucks. We're going to get some attention. We're a uh, small change of plans. We're going to call ahead to Stay Animals and try to get a pickup there down at the James River footbridge and head back there tonight and reevaluate the situation. Get a little food in us and head down the mountain for five miles. My favorite. Okay, we're at the cliffs, getting ready to take, make our descent down to uh, James River Bridge. Um, you can kind of see the bridge through the soup, uh, but um, Charlie's going to pick us up down there around five. Beautiful view now. The, it's kind of cleared up a little bit. You can actually see the James River down there. Uh, this is a view from Little Rock Row, about four miles from the James River Bridge. Yeah, a nice uh, section once we got down to the bottom of the mountain. Walk right along this creek here on the way to the James River footbridge. Fairly flat path. No, that is not the James River footbridge, <laughs> a precursor. Okay, finally made it here. Uh, stopped uh, for a little bit of trail magic from the Water Queen. She had some Gatorade and a banana, which was great. This is the James River footbridge, longest footbridge on the AT. Offer. We made it to the bridge. Thank you gonna go swimming today? Yeah, thousand dollar fine, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, walking across the uh, James River footbridge. Beautiful area. We uh, dropped our packs off at the Water Queen. She's doing some trail magic over here. So, just gonna go over and take a look, and we'll be back here as we continue on. All right, stand here at the uh, James River footbridge. Beautiful, beautiful views around here. Good day today. Um, woke up a little uh, cool and rainy, and uh, as the day went on, it just got better. It's in the mid 50s winds. Uh, 